So from Universal Pictures comes old. So what is this all about? The trailer does reveal a lot already, so hopefully this is still non-spoiler, but essentially a group of people, seemingly a family with children, gets into a beach and the beach does some strange things as the name gives away. The children become very old in just a matter of moments. Now, the trailer is fine and it's very fun and very interesting, although you do have some questions saying like, wait a minute, I can understand they don't have mirrors so they don't see themselves as old, but what if they notice that their arms or legs are really, really big now? Hmm, okay, so, but it's M. Night and he does this a lot with tricking the audience and he's the master of the twists, so presumably there's more than what meets the eye with the trailer. But essentially, it's about a family at a beach with some other people who now find themselves apparently being assaulted by the beach or by something on the beach or some strange supernatural force or maybe it's a government conspiracy. We don't know, but something is happening to them. Their bodies and their minds are being somehow affected or infected by some kind of entity or some kind of disease. So it's very vague. A lot of people are saying this is kind of a weird turn for M. Night because he hasn't done a thriller straight up in a long time. Well, yes and no. I mean, I guess if you like Split, and I do, it technically counts as a thriller, but then the ending turned it into a superhero story. But again, that's if you stay around for the ending. I think you can consider most of it really technically a thriller, even if it's, quote, has superpowers involved. But if you know M. Night, he always likes to indulge with subtext and comedy. Like, The Visit, I think, is one of his more minor films, but I thought it was interesting how he is playing a lot with the metaphors of the horror genre. And this seems to be the same thing. On top of this, this is kind of a rare thing for M. Night, because this is based on a graphic novel, and usually he only works with his own scripts. Although, he has been accused time and again of just stealing ideas, which, again, for auteurs, like it or not, they do do that. They do do a lot of borrowing and or stealing. I guess the question is, What do we make of the theft or the borrowing? I'm definitely intrigued where where he's going to go with this. But I will say that we've been down this path before. If you do know the old science fiction and fantasy stuff, this feels a lot like The Outer Limits or The Twilight Zone, which is fine. I have no problem with the throwback. I have no problem with nostalgia. But this does feel a lot like a Twilight Zone premise just being played out kind of in a film feature kind of way. But... It's M. Night. I do trust him. Unlike most people, I do see sort of the good even in his lesser films, like The Airbender or Lady in the Water, which I know most people would think I'm insane. Don't get me wrong, he is capable of doing a really bad film, like After Earth or The Will Smith Project. But, again, overall, he's a pretty strong director and a pretty even pretty strong writer, so I have some confidence he's going to do some interesting things here. But, yeah, if you do know the old Twilight Zone episodes, this feels like... Oh, he's just combining different aspects of those things. But, again, it is M. Night, so I am intrigued. And the cast is very stellar. We've got Boyega. We've got a few other people. So, it does have an interesting cast alongside of what he's trying to do. And, yes, he is doing some of his old tricks in terms of zooming in on people and their bodies are moving all over the place. I'm I'm feeling a lot like the happening is occurring all over again. But we'll see whether this is a kind of prequel to the happening or a sequel. Because there is an M. Night universe, and he likes to put in little nuggets and little acknowledgements to each of his films. So it'll be interesting how this ties into his larger universe. But I see this as more kind of a easygoing shock, or kind of a corny genre film where he's just going to have some fun. But who knows, it might have some hidden depths. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything radically too impressive on the lines of Unbreakable or even Glass. But I don't expect a masterpiece every time from him. So I'm definitely curious about what he's going to come up with, though I'll admit I had a little bit of problems with this because the way it was advertised, it was called Old Movie. So I thought its title was Old Movie, but apparently like, no, the name is old, but it's a movie. And you're like, oh, okay, hmm, interesting. Hmm. Usually when he sticks to one name, it's impressive, like Unbreakable, but I don't know. I hope this is better than The Happening, because I like The Happening, but... Definitely when they finally did the final twist, you're kind of like, wait a minute, they were fighting the air, the wind, the blowing of the wind. It just felt like, "Uh uh-huh, okay. So hopefully old will not disappoint, but some of his twists are, well, they're not very twisty. They're just like, okay, the story just came to an end. All right then, but 
we'll see. He has redeemed himself, so hopefully he's going to keep himself on the right track. But, you know, he did do After Earth, and I think we all acknowledge now that was probably a mistake, but we'll see. All right, this is Debating the Auteurs with M. Night Shyamalan and his new project, Old.